was just going to Max's hearing now, and Harriet's going to be there, so I'll get some ballpark figures about how much she's going to be, and then I'll know exactly what I need to borrow. That's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, I can't loan you the money, David. What? You agreed? I said I'd consider it, and I have considered it. But I don't think it's going to be in Max's best interests if we get him off the hook again. But you can't think he'd be better off in a, a secure training centre. Well, maybe it's the shock he needs. Maybe it'll give him time to think about what he did. That's rubbish! Uh, you need to calm down, David. You need to stay out of this, or is it too late for that? You know, I might have known, Grant, you agreed to lend me some money, and then he goes to work on you. Of course I spoke with Stephen. But this is my decision, David, mine. Yeah, and the only one you could make. Whether you like it or not, David, that boy needs to learn the difference between right and wrong. Yeah, and you need to learn to keep your nose out over people's business. Ow! David, let him go. What are you doing? Stop! Stop! Listen to your mother. Oh, enough. Sometimes I think this family makes the Jerry Springer show look like Little House on the Prairie. Shut up. I said enough. Oh, are you all right, Stephen? Oh, I'll let you know once I've visited my chiropractor. Every single one of you has turned your backs on Max. Do you know that? Oh, don't be so ridiculous. Ridiculous, David. You know, I was just about to give you that loan. But after this little performance, I think the pair of you need to understand that actions have consequences. Well, that's great, that girl. Really helpful, thanks. Oh, where are you going now? The hearing. Wait. What? Do you want me to come with you? As if. Well, after everything that's happened, I still care about him. We all do, David. Do you? We'll keep telling yourselves that, and maybe one day you might actually believe it. 